What's going on everybody, it's Joel here and today we're going to be going over a quick little walkthrough on how I like to clean and disinfect my barbells. I know a lot of people are just getting barbells for their first time and they don't really know how to take care of them. So this guide is going to take you through my like step to step breakdown on what I personally like to do to take care of my barbells. And um, you know, with what's going on in the world with uh, coronavirus, how to disinfect barbells as well and what you need to do to protect them after disinfecting them because there's a process that goes into that as well and though I'm using a barbell um, you can also take this and apply it to your pull-up bars your kettlebells your pretty much anything else in your home gym equipment um, so what I have here is a rogue Oli bar and the coating on it is Cerakote um, I've done cleaning videos on other barbells before, zinc barbells, chrome barbells. I don't think I've done a Cerakote one, um, but the actual process doesn't really differ all that much, but there are some things that you need to uh, worry about. And the first one is that, or the main one really, is that you need a brush that is a little bit softer. So, what I recommend is a nylon bristled brush. This is the one that is included in the bar shield package. This one will not scratch up the Cerakote. Uh, as much as they say Cerakote is scratch resistant, it is not. It's a ceramic coating and it will scratch. So if you use like a brass bristle brush or if you use a stainless steel bristle brush, it will actually scratch and damage that Cerakote. And I know that because um, a member at my gym accidentally used a brass brush on this particular bar and caused all sorts of little micro scratches in it. So avoid um, some of the harsher brushes. Use a nylon bristled brush. If you have a chrome bar or a bare steel bar, you can use that brass bristle brush. It'll be just fine. If you have a zinc bar, you're gonna wanna use the nylon bristled brush. So I've got my brush here. Uh, I like to wear some gloves when I do my cleaning. You can have a mask if you want. I'll probably wear one for this uh, just because. You need a rag. This is a dirty t-shirt, but it works. I like to use Simple Green. Uh, this is my first step. And then after my Simple Green, I'll use my disinfectant spray. So this is my little disinfectant spray. Um, it's in this little bottle, but inside of this is 70% isopropyl alcohol, and that will disinfect and kill pretty much most bacteria. You can use higher concentrations as well, uh, but this is what I have. You can use Lysol, you can use um, pretty much all the other disinfectants that are widely made and on the market, just pretty much whatever you got. But if you just wanted to use isopropyl alcohol, you need, I think, 60% and above uh, to kill coronavirus. And then uh, for a protectant, I personally use Bar Shield. It's what I have. It's a little bit more expensive, but the reason why I like Bar Shield is because it's a little bit, um, it leaves less of an oily residue after you're done um, protecting your barbell. You can also use this to lubricate your barbell, which I'm not gonna do on this because this is a bearing bar and you don't have to do that. Uh, another thing that you can use is three-in-one oil. It's very cheap, it's widely available. Um, it's also very good at taking off rust spots or surface rust spots, um, which this barbell does have and the bar shield will take off as well. Another one is WD-40. You can use WD-40 as well. Uh, but it's probably the most oily and greasiest one. Though I think WD-40 does the best job in taking off surface rust. So if I, I've got all my stuff here. Um, the easiest way to prop up your barbell when you're cleaning it is if you have spring clips, you can just put spring clips over them and then just creates this little stand for your barbell while you're cleaning it so that you can spin it around while you clean it. It just makes things a little bit easier. Um, the sleeves on mine are chrome, um, which don't really require too much maintenance. If you get surface rust on chrome, which happens pretty often, uh, just use a little bit of Bar Shield 3 in 1 oil. Uh, with your brush, it'll come right off, no problem. Uh, but you would disinfect the chrome pretty much just the same as the 
rest of the barbell. So I'm gonna put my stuff on here. So first things first, what I'll do is I will spray down with my simple green the bar, just kind of go over it. I like to work on one side of the bar at a time. So what I'm doing here with the simple green and the brush is I'm trying to knock off just like the loose chalk and um, dead skin that's in the knurling. Um, usually this is a, does a pretty good job of getting rid of it. This bar has not been cleaned in quite some time. Um, so there are some surface rust, there's some dead skin in it. Um, it definitely needs a little bit of help. I'm pretty sure this bar hasn't been cleaned since pre-coronavirus, pre-shutdown. So that's it, that's pretty much one side. Oh, there's a little spot there, I'll spray that down. And then go over that as well. And then, there's no sweat or anything. Oh, also, in between sessions, if you have sweat all over your bar, and this mainly applies to zinc, uh, a zinc coating will fade very, very fast if you do not wipe off that sweat. So make sure after your sessions, Wipe the sweat off of your zinc coating because it's corrosive to the coating and it'll make it wear much, much faster. Uh, so keep that in mind. Always have a rag handy after you're done working out. You don't have to really worry about that too much if you're using chrome. Uh, I would anyways, and Cerakote as well. You don't really have to worry about that too much. So, it looks like just about done, there's some stuck stuff in there, but I'll get that out with the bar shield. So now I'm gonna take my little rag here and I will wipe it down. You can use a microfiber cloth as well. Uh, usually I just find like shot towels are probably the best. Um, knurling eats up microfiber towels pretty fast. So I, I like to use something a little bit thicker. Um, but, you know, just a, an old t-shirt is just fine. Okay. So there's some surface rust left over. Um, the simple green is not going to take off surface rust. So that's what the bar shield is going to do. Okay, so I still have some chalk residue in there, uh, which is fine. Um, I could have probably gone over it a little bit better, but for the sake of this video and time, I will just save that for the bar shield part because this stuff will remove all of that gunk anyways. Um, so with your disinfectant spray, if you're using a, a higher concentration alcohol, all you need to do is just spray it on and then it will eventually evaporate in like 30 seconds. So spray on your disinfectant. You don't need to wipe it off or anything, just spray it on. That's pretty much it. Uh, you can have like a towel to kind of like spread it, but you really just need to just spray it on. It'll eventually wipe off. You can use disinfectant wipes as well. Um, I know they're a little scarce right now, so if you want to use them, use them. If you have a stockpile of them, great. If not, isopropyl alcohol, you can also use bleach. But the problem about bleach is um, if you use bleach, uh, it will get onto people's clothing if you're using it in like the gym setting. So make sure that you're wiping it down very, very well. Okay, so for the most part, it looks like everything's all dry. And now we're going to go into the extra cleaning and protecting phase with Bar Shield. Like I said, you can use 3-in-1 oil or WD-40. Uh, the way that I'll do it is I'll just drip it on. I'll get back to my brush and then I'll spread it. making sure I work it into the knurling. So you can just go back and forth and then like when you find spots that that's not really working on, just kind of go diagonal on those spots. Uh, you'll see if you have surface rust on your bar, you'll see it just kind of just disappear, which is awesome. Okay, there's one side. Probably have to come back to it in the meantime. 
over the middle of the bar. And the middle of the bar is pretty easy to just kind of work in the bar shield. You don't really need to use that much more. So you'll have just remaining bar shield on the brush. Okay, the camera angle looks a little off. It's because the wind just kind of blew my camera stand. So now I'm going to do the other side here. Just little lines of bar shield. Just work it in. You can kind of just work it in lightly. Work it in, work it in. And you might be wondering why I'm not going to put any bar shield or lubricant inside of the bearings. Um, with any high quality bearings, you do not need to do that. They should spin pretty much forever without you having to maintain them. If they stop spinning or anything like that, it's because they probably broke. Um, other bars you can do maintenance with, the Rogue Oli bars, and they make it a little bit harder to take out the end cap. Uh, it's not just your simple snap ring. Um, but that's about it. So there's my cleaned up bar. So now from here, I'll go and I'll clean my sleeves. Um, pretty much the same exact way that I just did the rest of the barbell. Um, I'll just go over it. Right now, I just usually like to go over the, the sleeve shoulders. Just kind of polish them off. Uh, but that's it. That's how I disinfect and clean my barbells featuring the Rogue Cerakote Foley Bar. Uh, it's music to my ears. So it will be greasy for a little bit. Um, because of that, you need to make sure that um, you're probably not going to be able to uh, oil them after every single class or anything. So keep in mind that you'll probably have to do that afterwards, after class. Uh, you can just stick to the first two steps, the simple green and then the isopropyl alcohol uh, in between classes. If you're at a gym in your own home, you can do it, you know, however, however, however much you want. If you have your own bar and you know you're not really touching too many things, then maybe not that often. But otherwise, if you're coming in contact with a lot of people and whatnot, then you're probably going to have to do a little bit more. But that's pretty much it. Real simple, real easy quick and painless. Um, if you guys have any questions about how to disinfect any other barbells, clean other barbells, maintain any other barbells, gym equipment, whatnot, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.